found our evaporative leak and it was this evaporative hose sitting on top of the gas tank. All we had was a broken line where two screws were jammed in. So we went ahead and we replaced the line. Uh, we installed the tank. And now what we're going to do is verify that we have corrected it. And we're going to do a smoke test and we're going to pay attention to the flow gauge and make sure that there is no flow after we have sealed off the system. And the first step that we're going to do is close the vent valve with our scan tool. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. What I've done is removed this hose from the purge solenoid. Uh, this is coming from the tank and vapor canister to the purge solenoid. And this is the other hose. It's This hose is going from the purge solenoid to the intake manifold. We, we previously checked the purge solenoid to make sure that that wasn't the source of the leak and we've checked this vacuum line here and found that okay. So we're gonna connect our smoke machine to this line and now we're gonna pay attention to this ball, which is a flow meter. So initially when I turn the machine on, we're gonna see the ball rise all the way to the top because the tank does not have the same pressure that the smoke machine is putting out. But as the pressure equalizes, we will see the ball steadily drop and if there's no leak it should bottom out right here. So we're seeing the ball all the way at the top and as the pressure of the tank begins to equalize the flow is going to decrease and we should see this ball rest all the way down at the bottom if we have sealed all of our leaks. And this is a good sign. If I've got a ball resting on the bottom, I can feel confident that I have fixed all the evaporative leaks. And now when I clear the check engine light and the vehicle does run an evaporative monitor, it will pass and we can tell our customer with confidence that they can go through the inspection lane.